hi there welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to teach you how to create a simple static website using go and another framework for go called go fiber so let's get into it i'm currently on my home directory on my terminal so i'll cd into my desktop create a folder called go website cd into that folder and then open it up on my code editor now the first thing we need to do is to initialize a go model using this command called go mod in it and then specify a part where we'll track all our dependencies so this will normally be the link to your github repo but for this project i'm just going to use uh, another part example.com slash go website just a random part right so i'll click on enter now it has created this file and you can see my go version and then the model name which is also like the model part now we need to install a package called go fiber which is also like a framework for go i'll go to my browser google fiber i'll look for the github repo which is this you can see the description here so this is like a quick start demo but i'm looking for how to install it so here it says you should run this command so i'm going to run this command here click on enter now you can see that it has installed go fiber on this project and from the uh, go mod file you can see all the dependencies it requires so next we'll create our main.go file so the main.go now create our package package main which is standard for creating go um, project and then do an import we're going to import the package we just installed we can make reference to the repo and see how it is imported so if i scroll here i can copy this and then paste this since this is like the only package we're installing it's okay to leave it like this now we're going to create our main function so the func main And then create a variable called app and assign it a, the value from fiber dot new. So here we're calling the fiber using the fiber package. It has this function called new that creates a new fiber named instance. Now we're seeing this error here because we created this variable and we haven't used it. So I'll do app.static which will create like a file server serving the static files from our website. And then first we'll give the part to that, um, like the API to that particular folder or file which would be like the home directory and then the part where we will find those files on this project so we can see dot slash public 
which will be this dot public um, part will be like the folder where all our website assets will be uh, or the files for our website so I'm going to create that folder now called public and then inside this folder I'll create a simple HTML file so index.html I'm going to write a simple code for uh, a basic HTML page so do doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag head title call this my website create a body create a h1 welcome welcome to my website and then add a paragraph this is a great website created with go so this i uh, just created like a simple html page now we'll go back to our go dot our main dot go um, file now remember this particular slash here it's referring like to the home directory so if you if the website name is um, let's say for example example.com this is like referencing the home directory so if you want to go to a part that says example.com slash um, Francis if we hit this part it will pull up all the files that are in this folder but we'll just leave it at this now we need to start the server and how to do that using fiber we'll just call app dot listing which serves http request from the address and then we'll specify our port and then we use port 3000 yeah so we're all set now and if i run go run main.go it should start up and serve the file so go run main.go yeah so you can see here that it's it's running right so i'll just need to go to localhost 3000 and see if the website is it's up So oh, the local host 3000 wow what's happening let me go back and see so we have public we have index.html save let me try this again go run main.go hope i save this saving this file again main.go it's going to the public file the home so i'll do go run main.go so it's running then it's on local host 3000 i'll do yeah so here we go our website is running i think what happened then was because i didn't save the um, index.html file so here we have our website thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions and um, please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you